Hi everyone, in this video we'll discuss possible contract module from Open Zeppelin Contracts 5.2. To understand this video, you should already know the basics of Solidity and the basics of Ethereum. If you don't know or you need a quick refresher, you can check out these two playlists on my channel. Now coming back to possible, in this video we'll cover what is possible module. We'll understand how it works. We'll go through the documentation of this module. We'll go through the underlying code of this module and then we'll see how to implement it. So Posible is a contract module that allows its children, which basically means that you'll have to use this module via inheritance. So Posible is a contract module that allows its children to implement an emergency stop mechanism that can be triggered by an authorized account. So this module is generally used along with the access control modules. You can check more details about them in their own video. By including the possible module, you can apply two function modifiers on your functions. These are when not paused and when paused. So when a function modifier when not paused is applied to a function, that function will only execute if the contract is in unpaused state. And when you apply when paused modifier to a function, that function will only execute if the contract is in the paused state. Any functions without these modifiers remain unaffected. This module or this functionality of pausing the contract is helpful for halting critical activities if needed. For example, if a large bug or exploit happens and you want to halt the activities in case of a DeFi application, let's say there's a DEX and there's some bug in the liquidity pools. So you want to halt the trading activity on that DEX. So for that, this is useful. And it is also useful for preventing some kind of activity until a condition is fulfilled. So this is sort of a subset of the first point. You can use this functionality for prohibiting certain activities until a condition is met. Like uh, if there's some KYC happening or let's say you have time locked something. Let's take a very simple scenario. Some user has registered on the platform and you don't want all of the functionalities to be immediately available to them to avoid spamming or bots or for some other reasons like for completion of KYC or verification of documentation. So you can pause the activities for them until the necessary conditions are fulfilled. So you have a state variable called pause, which contains the state of the smart contract, which is going to be a Boolean variable containing true or false values. So false would represent unpaused and true would represent that the contract is paused. Because of uh, using access control method, the owner of the contract or the admin of the contract can change the state of the contract from paused to unpaused and vice versa. So let's say you have a contract A. By default, it will be in an unpaused state and you have a couple of functions in this contract. So in the first function, you have added the modifier when not paused. So this function would only execute if the contract is in unpaused state. In the second function, you have added a modifier when paused. So this function would only execute if the contract is in pause state. And in the third function, you haven't applied any modifier. So this would remain unaffected by the state of the contract. So let's say if the contract is in unpaused state. If you call function one, it will execute because the contract is not paused. If you call function two, it will not execute because the contract is not paused and this should only execute when the contract is paused. If you call the third function, it will execute because there's no modifier. It is not affected by the state of the contract. When you change the state of the contract from unpaused to paused and then you call function one, it will not execute because it is supposed to execute only when the contract is in unpaused state. If you call function two, it will execute because it is supposed to be executed when the contract is in paused state. And if you call function three, it will execute again because it is not affected by the state of the contract. Cool. So now we'll see the documentation of this module. Uh, this is a simple explanation that I've already covered. So we'll move ahead to the next section. Modifiers. Possible module comes with two modifiers when not paused and when paused. When not paused, as I already mentioned, makes the function callable when the contract is in normal state, only in that state. And when paused is a modifier that makes a function callable only in the pause state. Then we have a few functions. Constructor is used to initialize the smart contract, the child contract in the normal or unpaused state. Paused is a function that returns the current state of the contract. So it will return true if the contract is in pause state and it will return false if the contract is in unpaused state. 
require not paused and require paused are checks to see if the contract is in unpaused or paused state before doing any activity you would check if the contract is paused or not these functions are used for that and then pause and unpause functions are used for pausing and unpausing the contract then we have two events whenever you pause a contract or you unpause it you'll have an admin account doing that so whenever you make a change in the state of the contract the event would be emitted so if you are pausing the contract the event would be emitted with the admin's account address and if you are unpausing the contract the event would be emitted with the admin's account address and then we have two errors enforced pause and expected pause so enforced pause is thrown when an operation fails because the contract is in pause state so you are enforcing the pause that you cannot do the operation because the contract is in a pause state the second error expected pause is thrown when an operation fails because the contract is not in a pause state so you were expecting the contract to be in a pause state but it wasn't so that's all there is to this contract module and now we'll look at the code so this is the underlying code of the possible contract module you can access it by going to the link here so i'll collapse this and zoom it a bit so that you can view it better so this is the code you can see that it starts with the standard license identifier and pragma statements they are importing the context module i'll discuss this in a separate video so don't worry about it then we are implementing an abstract contract because this is supposed to be inherited and implemented in a child contract we have a state variable paused to indicate the state of the contract this is boolean so you have a binary state of paused or unpaused then you have the two events paused and unpaused these are emitted whenever you change the state of the contract along with the address that did it then you have two errors enforced pause and expected pause in the constructor of this contract we are initializing the contract to the unpaused state so we set the value of pause to false then we have two modifiers when not paused and when paused these enforce the state of the contract before executing the function so modifier when not paused will basically require the contract to be not paused before executing the function and modifier when paused will require the contract to be paused before executing the function then we have a paused function which returns the current state of the contract which is the value of the underscore paused variable next two functions are require not paused and require paused these were being used by the modifiers above and basically they enforce the state of the contract so require not paused will check if the contract is paused or not so if the contract is paused this function paused would return the value of the state variable paused which should be true so if the contract is paused this function call should return true and will raise an error because we don't want the contract to be paused and in the required paused function we don't want our contract to be in unpaused state so in the unpaused state this function would return false and we don't want that condition to be true so basically if this function returns false we should raise an error so that's why we take a negation and raise an error accordingly the next two functions pause and unpause change the state of the contract so function pause sets the value of pause to be true and the contract enters a pause state then it emits the pause event along with the address of the account that executed this function call and the function unpause would change the contract from a pause state to the unpaused state by setting the value of paused variable to false and it also emits an event unpaused along with the address of the account that executed this function call now note that to get the account address that executed the function call they are using underscore message sender now this is a separate function this is not message dot sender and this comes with the context module so why they are using it here you will get to understand it better if you know about the context module and i have a separate video covering that so you can check it out so that was the code of the possible contract module and now we'll see how to implement it in our own contract so to demonstrate it i have modified the example of simple storage that comes in the remix id 
you can find the base example in this contract so in this example we import the possible contract module and then inherit it in our contract in our contract we have a state variable called number which stores a number value we have a function to increase the value of number by one we have a function to store a new number in the number variable and we have a function to retrieve the value of the number the function which increases the value by one i have added a modifier when not paused to it so this function would only execute if the contract is in unpaused state the function which changes the value of the number i have added a modifier when paused to it so this function would only execute if the contract is in the paused state and the function retrieve doesn't have any modifier so you can execute it regardless of the contract state the function pause and unpause calls the respective pause and unpause functions from the possible module and they basically change the state of the contract from pause to unpause and from unpause to pause now we'll compile the contract and then we'll deploy it so our contract is deployed now by default the contract is deployed in an unpause state so if you call the paused function from the possible module you will get the value false because the contract is in unpaused state the value of number is 100 and we'll execute these functions one by one in each state so currently the contract is in unpaused state we'll execute increment so you see that this function call goes through and the value of number is increased by one this execution was successful because the contract is in unpaused state and it has a modifier when not paused so in this state this function should execute store function shouldn't execute and retrieve should execute so if you try to call store with another value you see that we get an error in the console so we also have an error reason provided by the contract that the contract is not paused so this function shouldn't execute when the contract is in unpaused state or the contract is not paused and that is the error that we are getting here and if we call retrieve the execution call is successful so we get the value 101 now we change the state of the contract by calling the pause function so the call went through successfully and if we retrieve the state of the contract we get the value true so the contract is in pause state now in this state the increment function shouldn't execute because it has a modifier when not paused the store function should execute and the retrieve function should execute so first we'll try increment and you see that we got an error the error is a uh, possible paused so this function shouldn't execute when the contract is paused and that is the error that we are getting here then if we call store with the value 250 you see that the function call was successful because the contract is in pause state so if we check the value of number it is updated to 250 and then if we call retrieve it again executes successfully because it is independent of the state of the contract so that was all about the possible module from open zeppelin contracts library do check out the official documentation and the code yourself i'll add the link to them in the description below and do check out videos on other contract modules from the open zeppelin library ask your doubts or leave feedback in the comments like share and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next